Oh, it's like his, his family is home at this point. And, uh, you know, even just seeing people come in and out of the gym, um, the management, how they handle things, you know, regardless of it, everyone is, you know, really good people around here. Uh, with Cyrus, you know, he just he came in here and obviously he has the experience of being a player and also like a very successful coach also. So we, uh, you know, we bought in really fast. It's going to be tough. It could be really fun. At the same time, you know, um, we just got to come prepared and, and on point and everything should be all right. Do the, do the same things with a little bit more energy and uh, passion for the team. How crazy was that series against Monaco? Uh, it was it was intense. It was especially having to go back and forth. Uh, uh, winning the first game uh, away obviously uh, gave us a lot of confidence. And uh, you know you have great players over there. Uh, a lot of players that are score that that can score. I mean, and um, you know you have to be locked in every single game with them. And you know, luckily at the end of everything, it just came down to another overtime. And uh, we were able to pull it out. So, you know, obviously we were really talented. We really uh, believe in our teams and we're just happy to be in the final four now. Uh, for you, how does it feel for you to finally get to the final four? Oh, uh, man, it, it's, it's amazing because obviously coming here like four years ago or like, yeah, four years ago, uh, having the ups and downs and, um, you know, making it close every year. It almost seems like we're getting closer and closer and finally being able to break that first play, playoff round. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's good. It's, it's rewarding. Yeah, especially, yeah, you came right after the pandemic, right? Yeah, yep. You guys were really close and close. And, you know, other than the ups and downs, there are also some coaching changes here during your time, right? Yeah, it's been four what, different coaches. I mean, all the coaches are great coaches, accomplished coaches. But what is it that clicked with Charas? Of course, um, all coaches, you know, have their um, pros and it's, uh, with Cyrus, you know, he just he came in here and obviously he has the experience of being a player and also like a very successful coach also. So we, uh, you know, we bought in really fast, um, not against any other coaches or anything like that. It's just we really um, followed his plan and he kind of showed that, you know, it's his way or, you know, nothing. And we really, um, it really was successful and uh, just good energy too. Uh, really understands everything that's going on so it's, it's hard for you it's hard not to play for someone like uh Cyrus as hard as you can mm -hmm. understanding everything that he knows and it's been it's been a very good uh couple of months with him obviously we're, we're more than happy and uh it's been great uh you personally when he arrived soon after he had one injury you had a little break then you had another injury i mean how tough was it for you like you know the new coach comes you want to, you know, kind of always prove yourself. It's a natural, natural course, yeah. thing to do, but not being able to. Uh, yeah, you know, just it's, it's been definitely a tough uh, season, especially with injuries and stuff. Uh, even uh, coming back, you know, trying to get back into the rhythm of things while new coaches adding in new stuff, you know, everyone's getting, you know, chemistry with everything. And it's just... Uh, you know, you just do what you can at that point. Like, if, you, if you're trying to do everything that you can to make sure that, you know, that you you can be successful and, you know, things happen, things happen. But, uh, you know, also the support by our coaching staff, our our, um, our training team, you know, it, it really helped us get, helped me get back into proper shape and, you know, feel confident about coming back. And th this really helped me a lot. And, you know, it's really about the team at the end of the day. So, you know, we were being, we, were, we had successful runs while I was injured. Uh, we lost a couple games sometimes, but like at the end of the day, you know, it got us to the point where we're at now. And it's like, hopefully I can just stay healthy and be able to help the team with everything that we have coming up. What what do you think helped you guys, you know, survive the season, survive the series and get to Berlin? I think everyone, everyone uh, kind of trusted each other. You know, sometimes it was always next person up, you know, it was rarely that it was just one person really being that person the whole year. I mean, I mean, Nigel had an incredible season. A lot of other players had incredible, like, has had really good seasons too. But, like, it was always someone stepping up, um, understanding that everyone can really, you know, impact the game in a certain type of way. And everyone had their day throughout the season. And right now, collectively, everyone's happy and it's worked out for us. Have you ever, ever been on a team who shot the three-pointers more and better than this season. You know, you guys set the all-time early record for most triple triples in a single season. Yeah, it's incredible. Obviously, we we know 
how well our, our team can shoot the ball. Uh, we have we have shooters almost at every position, so uh, we do have shooters at every position. And uh, you know, we had those games where everything just clicked, and it was an amazing uh, atmosphere during those during those times. Um, only three players have been here with Fenerbahce longer than you. What has this team become to mean to you? Oh, it's like this family is home at this point, and uh, you know, even just seeing people come in and out of the gym, um, the management, how they handle things. You know, regardless of every, everyone is, you know, really good people around here, and uh, it's hard. It's hard for you not to kind of lock lock in, buy into the to the family atmosphere that we have, and it's worked out. You know, year by year, it's been a little bit better when it comes to on the court. We had that rebuilding year back in 2020, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, been a fun but great, long but fun, great journey. And um, it means a lot to me to be here, obviously. And, you know, I love the fans. I love the, the city. I love I love everything about it here. So. And, I mean, even though it took, you know, a couple of years, but it's really rewarding, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, I think, obviously, when something's like, takes a little bit longer sometimes when we finally make it, it's, it's good. But obviously, you know, at the same, at the same time, we're happy that we're here, but... There's still two more games that we have to play and we can we can really make something happen and really put a stamp on something. So since we're here already, might as well try our best to, you know, make get some get a championship, hopefully, you know, we'll see. Uh you know, you've been now long enough in Europe to understand what does uh the getting to the final four is a dream of many European players, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you've been here before here, you've been in Europe, I think, four years, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's three in Sassari, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and coming from Ontario, Canada, you know, you know, putting in, into perspective your entire career, not that it's all, all nearly over, but, you know, it, it, it's, been, it's been a journey. You know, how big is this for you? Uh, it's, 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 it's huge, you know, honestly, coming to Europe my first year, I didn't understand a lot of things and, you know, going through each team and going through each year, it's kind of like you understand how big EuroLeague really is. And uh, I think um, getting to Fener, understanding what the goal was to get here and understanding how hard it is to play EuroLeague sometimes, uh, it's, it's an accomplishment to make it to the Final Four. So it's, it's happy, rewarding to finally make it here. But like, obviously, you know, there's still bigger goals that we have. And it, I'm, I'm really thankful for the opportunity throughout the years and obviously just being here right now. Uh, you have a lot of teammates who have been to the Final Four, who have won it. What are the advices you are getting? Um, it's just honestly just trying to stay focused right now. We have a, we've had almost like two weeks since the last. It's going to be two weeks until the next game, and obviously uh, just trying to stay focused. We have our domestic league and stuff going on right now, and it's trying to stay in shape, do the right things until that that one game. It's just one game now, and then possibly the second game after, right? So. Um, Staying focused, and that's that's about it. What do you expect from the final four? And really, I think it's going to be an exciting atmosphere. It's obviously uh, playing pal. They have their fans. We have our fans. Uh, <clears throat> they have their coach. We have ours. And like you know, there's there's a lot of things that you can't really focus on. You know, you just got to kind of figure out, focus on whatever's going on on the floor right now. Um, and uh, it's going to be tough. It could be really fun. At the same time, you know, um, we just got to come prepared and, and on point and everything should be all right. Do the same, do the same things with a little bit more energy and uh, passion for the team. And I think everything should be all right. It's definitely exciting times, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Oh, for sure, man. Take care.